Hello students today we are doing lesson 1.5 from the English Kumar Bharati textbook for standard 9 the necklace this story is adapted from the french story written by gay de morfosson so come along then let's read and enjoy it this video was made just for you do remember to like share and subscribe Before we begin this lesson children let's do the warm up exercise that is given at the start of the lesson talking about myself we love to introduce ourselves isn't it we meet so many people around and so we introduce ourselves and we ask others for their introduction so write a few lines about yourself so in that you can introduce yourself your name appearance that is describe yourself uh, your physical appearance what are, what is uh, you know the uh, what, what, how you look maybe you know the color of your eyes the color of your hair anything you could describe as well as a little about your family the place where you live your school your friends neighbors relatives your likes dislikes hobbies what are you good at etc so all these things you could mention when you're writing about yourself so much to write isn't it now create an imaginary persona of yourself we all like to be something else we look up to some other person whom we you know admire maybe we uh, want to become like that person that person could be our role model so think about that person and think of that person as it being you and then introduce that person as yourself so it can be quite different from your real self or you may choose a fictional character fictional character is imaginary character not a real character so this person this character could be a character from a novel a story etc and write a few lines about this imaginary persona and introduce yourself in that role so imagine that you are that person and then uh, introduce yourself at that as that person and you could write all the details in your notebook as such here is an activity for you to do my dream possession now possession means something which you have but dream possession means something that you wish to have you do not have it but you wish to have it we all wish so many things isn't it we wish that we had this we had that so even you may be having some wishes so is there something that you would like to own more than anything else describe your dream possession with the help of the following points you may add your own points too so here is an activity for you to do you could you know write down your dream possession over here and answer these following questions whether you would like to share it with others its appearance or describe it appearance color shape size its use what would you use it for where you saw it first what would you use it for and how would you use it why you want it so much why do you want why do you wish to have it and what would you get what would you do to get it how will you achieve that position how will you get it so write this down and to check your answers you could visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below students this is part 1 of the story in this story the necklace written by guy de mafosan is a wonderful story that gives us a message of being happy and contented with whatever we have the necklace matilde was a pretty and charming girl the charming means very pleasing born as if by an error of fate error means mistake fate means destiny so whatever is in store for you whatever will happen will happen so here it is said that it is a mistake mistake by fate into a family of clerks so matilde was born she was a pretty and charming beautiful girl and it says that in a error of fate she was actually born in a family of clerks now clerks are people who work in an office okay so they are at a very low strata of uh, the office people so she had no means of becoming known understood 
loved or be wedded to an aristocrat aristocrat is a person of high social ranking so she had no means of becoming known so by becoming famous because she was born in a very middle class family and she was not going to be understood by anybody or loved by anyone or so and uh, you know not be wedded wedded means to get married to an aristocrat i told you an aristocrat is a person of high social ranking so she would not be uh, you know getting married to anybody of high social ranking that is a rich person and so she let herself be married to a minor official at the ministry of education the ministry of education is the you know the it's a government organization where the education ministers and other people will be working for the good of the education for that country so she was married to a minor official not even a high ranking official so minor official she was married because she was born in a very middle class family she dressed plainly because she had never been able to afford anything better so she was not wearing rich clothes or anything so simple clothes she always wore why because she could not afford it she could not she you know so she was born in a very middle class family so she couldn't afford very rich clothes she suffered endlessly feeling she was entitled to all the luxuries of life so she suffered she felt very very bad um, you know within herself she suffered endlessly so continuously she would think she have had the feeling that she was entitled entitled means to to be deserving so she thought that she should get more because she was so pretty so charming so to all the luxuries luxuries are all the great things or the uh, state of great comfort things that will give you comfort things that will give you riches so she thought that she should get many more things in life and she suffered because of her shabby poorly furnished house shabby means in a poor condition so she also felt bad about her shabby and poorly furnished furnished means there was hardly any furniture in a house so that was also very very poor or badly maintained or in a bad condition so she felt bad about her state of being and how she was living in a life of poverty whereas she thought that i should i am entitled or i deserved much more than what this is where i am living or what i am getting all these things that another woman of her class would not even have noticed so all these things other women of her class means of where she was you know she was in a middle class family so all the other women never even bothered to notice it so because they knew that they can't do anything about it so may it as well be happy with whatever we have so they did not bother so but it you know it uh, tormented tormented metilda very much she would always think about it that i need i should get more so tormented means uh, to be mental suffering so her and made her resentful resentful means to be bitter to feel very very sad very bad about where she was and how she was living she dreamt of a grand palatial mansion palatial means large and spacious house lots of rooms lots of big big rooms and lots of things she so always dream that you know i one day i will have a big house and i'll have all the luxuries in life so with vast rooms and inviting smaller rooms perfumed for afternoon chats with close friends so she thought and she dreamt that one day she was going to live in a very big house it will be spacious it will have big rooms and there will be you know smaller rooms where she would invite her friends it will be perfumed perfumed means it will have good smelling rooms and she would chat in the afternoon with all her close friends so all this is what she thought about and dreamt about yet she had no rich dresses no jewels nothing and these were the only things she loved so she loved to have you know she always dreamt that she would have good dresses good jewels so jewels are all the ornaments and precious stones and all that diamonds rubies emeralds pearls so she always dreamt of all this but 
yet she did not have any of these thought any of these things okay nothing and these were the only things she loved so she wanted so much to charm to be envied to be sought after charm means to please others to be envied means to be jealous you know so people would feel jealous about her so she would think that you know i am so rich i will have all these things and people will want you know to be like me and to be sought after means everybody would come and you know would like to talk to her or would you know want to have contact with her she would be in so much of demand so that is what she would dream about but she did not have any of this she had a rich friend a former schoolmate means her schoolmate her friend from her school at the convent so where she had studied her convent she had a, a friend her school friend who was very very rich whom she avoided visiting avoided means she would not go and visit her at all though she was a school friend she was a rich friend and she would not go and visit her because afterwards she would weep with regret so after meeting her friend she would feel so jealous about her friend she would feel so bad about it that she would weep weep means cry with regret regret means feel bad will feel sad about a particular action and despair despair means to you know be loss of hope she did not hope for anything she never thought that she would be rich so she would feel very bad about you know she did not have any of these things and her friend her schoolmate her own friend whom she has grown up along right from her childhood so she has all this so she would feel bad with regret she would cry with regret despair and misery again misery means to be very uh, full of sadness so she would always cry so that is why she would never go and visit her rich school mate one evening her husband came home with an air of triumph triumph means as if to show that he has won something victorious stone that is a very very happy and joyous stone so he came home holding a large envelope in his hand and he said look he said here something for you she tore open the paper so tear open so tore is to tear open the paper so he handed her husband handed over the envelope so he she tore it open and drew out a card so drew out means to pull out a card on which was printed the words so these words were printed the ministry of education and madame georges rompano request the pleasure of messia and madame loisel's company at the ministry on the evening of monday january 18 so this m stands for messia which means mr in french and m m e is a short form for miss or mrs that is madame so messia is an uh, you know given for the masculine gender and madame we say for ladies so just as we say mr and mrs so they there the in france in french language we say messie and madame so here was an invitation okay by the ministry of education so it was a big achievement big invitation everybody is not invited na so it was invited by the minister himself so they had got the invitation for a program so for any evening on monday january 18 so this was there this was the invitation that her husband one day handed over to her instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped so instead of being delighted delighted means to be happy as her husband had hoped her husband had hoped that you know seeing the invitation she would be very happy because to be invited by the ministry of education was not small deal no it was such a big occasion she threw the invitation on the table resentfully resentfully means to very to in a miserable manner and muttered so instead of being happy what she did was she threw the invitation and muttered muttered means just to you know to keep on talking about something what do you want me to do with that and what do you expect me to wear if i go so angrily she you know tells her husband that what do you want me to do with that what is what is the use of this invitation and what do you expect me to wear that means she's telling her husband that i don't have any good clothes to wear you remember she would always dream of having good clothes he hadn't thought of that 
Yeah, so husband had never thought that yes, my if we are going for a such a big party, we require a grand dress to wear, no? So he had never thought about it. So he stammered. Stammered meaning to speak with pauses. So he did not know what to tell her. So then he thought and he said, why? The dress you go to the theatre in, it seems very nice to me. So then he remembered about the dress that they always go to the theatre. You know, to go to the theatre, you dress up and you go. So she had a dress. So he remembered about that dress and he said, that is good enough. Why not wear that? It's very nice. He stopped, stunned, distressed to see his wife crying. So, instead of being happy, his wife started crying. So, he was stunned. Stunned means shocked. And distressed means he was tensed. Are you, why is my wife crying? We've got an invitation. And now that she also has a dress to wear, why is she crying? He stuttered. What's the matter? The stutter means again to stammer, to talk in pauses. So, he said, what's the matter? Let's see, Matilde. How much would a suitable dress cost? So, here... Now he is trying to pacify her, trying to, you know, make her understand and trying to tell her, okay, let us see now, how much will a dress cost? Tell me. Come on, I will pay it. So that is what he means. Come on, tell me, how much will a suitable dress cost? She thought for a moment, computing the cost. Now she said, oh, my husband is ready to give me money. So she started thinking for a moment and then started computing. Computing means calculating the cost. How much could a dress be? And also wondering what amount she could ask for without an immediate refusal. So if she would have asked a bigger amount, her husband would refuse. Refuse means he would say, no, 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 I can't give this much of amount. So all those things were going on in her mind. First, she started thinking, oh, my husband is giving me a dress, you know, money to buy a dress. Then she started calculating the cost. And then she started wondering, how much should I ask for? If I ask a bigger amount, my husband will say no. So she was thinking of calcul and calculating at the same time and trying to figure out how much should she say that her husband will say yes. Okay, at last she answered hesitantly. Hesitantly means in an unsure manner because she didn't know whether her husband will have that much money, whether she, he will agree to give her that much money. I don't know exactly, but I think I could do it with 400 francs. So he's saying, I don't know, she said. I, you know, she's trying to get the right answer. And she's saying, I don't know exact amount. But I think 400 francs, francs are the denomination or the money currency of France. And she said 400 francs I will require. He turned a little pale. Turned a pale, little pale means to lose color for your face. So when you are sad or when you are in a shock, you know, when you don't expect something and suddenly happens, the color of your face fades, fades. And so you feel very sad that sadness shows the on your face. So he also turned a little pale. Why? Because he had been saving that exact amount to buy a gun for a hunting summer in the country near Nantre with a few friends. So he had been saving money. Now he why he wanted to buy uh, save the money? He wanted to buy a gun. And why did he want a gun? To go hunting in summer with all his friends. So that is why he was saving. Okay. And now she was asking for 400 francs. Okay. However, he said, very well, I can give you 400 francs, but try and get a really beautiful dress. So he, you know, puts away, puts aside whatever his aspirations were. He wanted to buy a gun, remember? So he says, no, now my wife needs a dress. So let me give it to her. I'll buy the gun some other time. And so he says, very well, I can give you that 400 francs. I'll give it to you. But he says, try and see that you get a beautiful dress. Don't waste the money. So that is what it means. Don't waste money. Don't buy anything, you know, out of the ordinary or something. Buy a very beautiful dress with the money that I'm giving you. The day of the party drew near. So, uh, as as the time went by, you remember it was on Jan 18th, the, um, the, the party was due. So, as the day started coming closer and closer and Madame Luzelle seemed sad, restless 
anxious though her dress was ready her dress was ready but still she was not happy she was sad and she was restless and she was anxious anxious means to feel worried about something so still she was not happy one evening her husband said to her what's the matter you've been acting strange these last 3 days so her husband has been watching her you know so she seems you know sad restless so he then asks her ki what's the matter you've been acting strange strange means you're not behaving in your normal way you're you know behaving in a little abnormal manner that is she was sad and restless and anxious remember so he couldn't understand and so then after 3 days he asked her what's the matter she replied i am upset that i have no jewels not a single stone to wear i would rather not go to the party so when her husband asked her she said that i don't have a single jewel so jewel means any ornament to wear you know around her neck because now she had a beautiful dress but she did not have anything to wear not a single stone stone means all these precious stones like i told you earlier uh, emeralds and diamonds and rubies and pearls so she said i don't have anything to wear for the party how can i just go and wear or uh, just a dress so he says you could wear flowers he said they are very fashionable at this time of the year so he's saying flowers you could wear fresh flowers okay because they are fashionable now so why you want to wear expensive diamonds and all that you can wear fresh flowers they are fashionable also and they look nice also but she was not convinced Con uh, convinced means to be certain about so here she was not certain about that she should wear flowers because she wanted something she put her mind on she wanted that only so now she wanted some beautiful ornament or jewel to wear round her neck the next day she went to her friend's house and told her of her distress so the next day she was feeling very very anxious and she was feeling sad and miserable so she decided to go to her friend's house and told her everything her distress means all her problems that she was going through what are the sadness she was feeling madam foreste went to her mirrored wardrobe so her friend went to a mirror wardrobe mirror means with a mirror wardrobe is a cupboard a large cupboard where you keep clothes and we keep other accessories like maybe our jewelry or other things that we keep in the cupboard so a wardrobe is a cupboard so she went to her mirrored wardrobe took out a large box brought it back opened it and said to madam luzel choose my dear so she brought a big box and she opened it and says here yeah, there are some jewels here take choose anything you want first matilde saw some bracelets then a pearl necklace she tried on the jewelry in the mirror remember there was a mirror to the wardrobe so she started trying out all the jewelry that her friend showed she kept asking you have something else so it means that she was not satisfied with all the jewelry that her friend were shown it to her so she saying do you have something else please show me this please show me that i am not satisfied you know so she would keep asking you have anything else to show why yes but i don't know what you like so saying, yes i have other things but i am not sure what you like you know what is there in your mind so i can show you the perfect one please let me know suddenly she discovered in a black satin box a superb diamond necklace so suddenly she discovered that in a black satin box so satin is a material like silk shiny silk soft material so in the box was of satin box she found a superb superb means very very good diamond necklace and her heart began to beat with uncontrolled desire so now she got what she wanted and so her heart began to beat very fast it happens with us also no when we are excited so our heart also begins to beat so with desire with a strong wish her hands trembled trembled means she started shaking as she took it she fastened it around her neck fastened means to tie it or close it 
tightly around her neck and stood lost in ecstasy as she looked at herself so she stood there and she started dreaming feeling you know of great happiness so she was dreaming about the necklace and how she would look and you know she was imagining herself in that dress and in the with the diamond necklace and how beautiful and charming she would look so she started thinking about all these things and felt very very happy then she asked anxiously hesitating so now she was anxious you know she wanted to know and hesitating also she was like unsure in an unsure manner remember even when she wanted that 400 francs for the dress she was unsure of how to ask her husband here also she was very anxious she wanted to know you know and she was hesitant it also whether her, you know her friend will give her that diamond necklace or no so but she asked would you lend me this just this so she said please please give me this hmm? so she said would you lend it lend it means give it to me for some time i'll wear it for the party and i'll return it that is what she means so her friend says why yes of course so friend says yes i'll give it to you what's there in that you have to return it i can lend it to you you have to return it later it's just for lending no she threw her arms around her friend's neck threw her arms means she hugged her friend okay she put her arms around her friend's neck rapturously rapturously means with great joy then fled with her treasure fled means she started running with excitement she was so happy that her friend said yes and she gave her the diamond necklace with her treasure treasure means was valuable the diamond necklace the valuable that she had with her and she went the day of the party arrived and madame lucelle was a success so the day of the party came finally and she had worn that pretty dress and she had worn the necklace she was prettier than all the other women elegant gracious smiling and full of joy so she was looking very very pretty remember in the first paragraph we have read that she already had she was a beautiful woman she was charming and pleasing and pretty and beautiful and now that she had was wearing that beautiful dress with a necklace she was looking prettier than all other women and she was looking elegant elegant means stylish gracious means she was very kind pleasing very very nice to everyone smiling and full of joy she danced wildly with passion forgetting everything in the triumph of her beauty and success so at the party she just enjoyed herself she danced with passion passion means full of energy full of love full of you know all the desires that she had so she was very very happy forgetting everything in the triumph triumph means she felt victorious she felt very very happy as if she had won the whole world of of her beauty and success so she was very very happy and floating in a cloud of happiness as if she was floating in the cloud and what kind of cloud it is it's a cloud of happiness so she was dancing and enjoying herself with happiness Matilde and her husband left at about four o'clock in the morning. So whole night they had a party and they danced and they enjoyed. And finally, at four in the morning, they left from there. When they were finally in the street, they could not find a cab. So they could not. When finally they came to the street because they did not have a car, so they wanted a taxi. So they could not find the taxi at all. They walked down towards the Seine till they found one. so right down they started walking down the road and they found one down the road they were dropped off at their door in the rue de martes and sadly it was all over for her so the cab driver dropped off means to leave someone so the cab driver uh, dropped them off and here the author is telling us that it was all over for her so let's find out now what happens what is it the author talking about in front of the mirror she took a final look at herself 
in all her glory so she wanted to just take a last nice look about herself because now the party was over so she will have to remove the dress and she'll have to give the jewels back so she said let me just look at myself one last time so she went, stood in front of the mirror and she started looking and admiring herself so in all her glory means to understand to admire herself but suddenly she uttered a cry so suddenly she uttered means she spoke she spoke out a loud cry she no longer had the necklace around her neck oh my god so there was no necklace around her neck what is the matter asked her husband so her husband did not know because she suddenly you know she was looking at herself she was happy she was admiring and suddenly she started you know giving out a loud cry sad cry she turned towards him panic stricken panic stricken meant with a sudden feeling of fear she was fearful i have i have i no longer have madame first day's necklace so she said i don't have that necklace oh my god he stood up distraught distraught means worried and disturbed what how that's impossible even he couldn't understand where did the necklace go so they both were distressed and suddenly just couldn't understand where the necklace went so this was the first part of the story i hope you all enjoyed it and do solve the exercise given to you at the end of the textbook and do watch the part 2 of this lesson to check your answers to the english workshop as well as the other questions that are given within the lesson you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe thank you bye bye